Today I'm talking to Natalie from Linear Design about cafe design both for new cafes and existing cafes, how to revamp them. How are you Natalie? Wonderful, thank Wonderful. you, welcome. Thank you, your beautiful home here in Karora on the Coast Coast. Thanks so thank much. Thank you for having us. Um, tell us more about what you do and I guess what you love to do. So uh, Linear Design, we're problem solvers, design problem solvers, and we help rework uh, existing spaces and new spaces for commercial and residential clients. And really we have no limit to how far and wide we go with our scope. Lovely. So we're predominantly today focusing on cafes. Yes. You know, that's what our audience is. Yes. Is loving just learning about cafe design and layout and workflow. But today yep. we're just, you know, focusing on design and being cost effective, being time effective. So I've got a few questions for you to just Great. pick your brain on. Lay it on me. All right. So straight away, let's just talk about someone that has a blank canvas and they're just wanting to open their dream cafe. They've seen those beautiful cafes. They've got that vision in their mind. Sure. Where do you send them or what's your first piece of advice yeah. for someone in that point? So often our point of contact will be at those very early stages and we will always recommend that our, our clients go and see a, a professional, uh, be it the one you're speaking to, myself. Uh, if the space is relatively simple and it's a scope of works we can work with um, in our field. Uh, alternatively, we might send them to an architect if there's any structural requirements sure. uh, and drafting or DA applications needed. So we can guide people as to how to start and which professional to start with. Uh, most instances, it starts with, with me uh, and us. And from there, we get drafted plans, we measure the space, we get accurate uh, detail uh, of the empty box uh, to start filling out detail. From there, we take a really detailed brief and, and get to know our clients, sit down, get to know their product, get to know their dreams, their clients, their visions, and uh, we formulate a bit of a mood board and a, a vibe, if you like, as mm. to how the cafe is going to feel, which is equally important as to the look. Um, and that's where we start and that process can take up to a week uh, to get to the right place to start padding out the design. Sure. Is that a week is, I guess, for you getting engaged, is there a kind of a time frame that you like people to engage early in the process? Obviously you don't want to come in too late. Yeah, from, from the get-go is best. So from the day that you make that decision whether the lease is signed or not. Sure. Um, engaging or sitting down uh, at no cost with a professional for an hour to see if they're the right person to work with um, from from that very early stage is good. We're along the, the journey with you that way and any little questions we can help guide you as to the next stages and, and help keep you calm through the process. How much do they need to know? Um, they need to know what they would like the space to be ultimately, yeah. but they don't really need to know anything about what's to come. That's where we help guide them sure. through uh, those, those stages. So creating uh, that mood and that vibe is the first place we start. And from there, the detail comes into place, drafting is done, and then materiality uh, is placed and put into each individual area. Uh, what, why, how, where is sure. what we work with next. Obviously the, the amount of planning and, and I guess ideas that they have will then impact everyone else around you. Are you a part of the other construction and all the other other trades that come in? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So once the, once the design phase is completed and the materiality has been discussed, the clients have approved it, they're getting excited about the process, uh, we can then sit down and meet builders, uh, trades, yeah. carpenters, whatever the space requires and have a group discussion as a team uh, sure. and that's that's definitely important. So a schedule yeah. of finishes will help the builder to know what's been decided on. Sure. From my experience, people that haven't had that plan in place are very surprised by trades yeah. and, and their turnaround times Absolutely. and their availability yeah. and how long things just yeah. take. It's just stock or obviously yeah. you're going to help 
Absolutely. Having having someone like you at the helm is going to help to kind yeah. of time frame of. We can help with uh, we can help with preliminary costing estimates. Um, we've got a really good handle on um, pricing now, which is constantly changing uh, in this environment. But we yeah. will actually help guide you through the budget process. Whether you come to us with a fixed budget and we work sure. the design around the fixed budget or uh, we work the design uh, into the budget. So the design creates the budget. Yeah, I think budget's a big word for everyone. <laughs> it's it's always a hard one. Everyone wishes yeah. that there wasn't you know, a certain cap on their, yeah. their vision. Yeah. Uh, but definitely that's something you can talk about early and freely talk about and, yeah. and not like set the bar too high and, and blow out yeah. the end a of the project. A lot of people will, will come into the design process and they'll have all of these Instagram shots and, and not yeah. have an understanding of the cost of the material itself yeah. and then also the installation of that material. And, and yeah. we're very realistic. Um, I have a good handle on what things actually cost. And, you know, if you come to me and say, I have, I have $2,000, what can we do? Uh, I'm not going to give you a, sure. a job that's going to cost 25. Yep. Um, that that's part of what we do as well. Yeah, cool. Is there any, um, I guess, no goes in that space, or where have you seen it go wrong as far as people's absolutely? You know, projects? There's always blowouts, um, and I find that those blowouts come in the lack of planning from the the early stages. So having yeah. detailed drawings including uh, joinery for the space, uh, any detail yeah. that's required to store merchandise, to do whatever their space needs to, should be drafted and detailed from yeah. the beginning before a trader's set foot on site. Um, sort of ad hoc uh, will cost people money uh, along the sure. way. So it's worth Are you part of like, so we spend a lot of time um, bench layouts, coffee machines, yep. where to cut holes, where to, you know, the positioning of the, of the equipment based on yep. the workflow. Yep. Um, I guess, is that something that you yeah, would talk to them about, yeah, engage absolutely. with? Yeah, absolutely. So spatial planning, yep. um, again, that comes with the drawn plan uh, as to how the space works. We do rely on the expertise of, um, you know, small cafe yep. kitchen specialists if we need to. Um, baristas obviously have a particular flow, which I know you've talked yep. about in other YouTube videos, where to put the sink. We would be guided somewhat by uh, that, but yeah, spatial flow, making sure that the space is easy for clients to access and exit, making sure that uh, baristas can deliver coffee easily. Um, yep. Yeah, that's all a major cool. part of it. So obviously there's a whole lot of people that are out there with their cafes, they've probably been in them for it could be in them for a year or two or ten, and yep. they might be looking a little bit tired. Yep. Maybe they're ready for a little bit, bit of a revamp, but yeah. they don't know, don't know what the like. Maybe they've got a budget. Maybe they're too. They're, yep. You know, where's their hard-earned cash going to go? Yep. Is there? I guess, give us your top five kind of things that you would say is a good focus areas to get the most bang for yeah. your buck. Yep, so a lot of, most people these days have a budget. We all kind of have budgets uh, and sitting down, engaging a, a designer on an hourly basis uh, that you can call on as you need them throughout the process is a good investment. I <laughs> say that I am sure. one, it's what I do. Um, and that might cost you a small portion of what you've got to spend and that will then be guiding um, the paint color. Paint's a huge one, it's yep. really accessible. You can do it yourself. Um, there's lots of options in terms of no VOC, which is no chemical compounds, so there's no paint smells, yeah, okay. um, if you need a really quick turnaround overnight. So repainting, yep. uh, cleaning is a big one, adding a beautiful pendant light that hasn't been in the space before, um, refurbishing furniture, adding new stools. Yep. There's lots of things that can be done that are simple and easy, quick and effective and cost, cost effective that you can do. Sure. Um, is there is there things that you see people doing themselves or getting handier, like painting, getting their hands dirty? Um, is it really just absolutely? Do you so, work work yeah. hands on with them. I mean, they're going to be a part of the trades, I guess, to yeah. to make the most yeah, of their time. I think there's some things that people can do easily, uh, and things that people shouldn't do. Sure. Definitely, electrical is one of those. Yep. 
So another thing you can do that, that will allow a really fast, cost-effective uh, refurb is zip to Bunnings, buy some beautiful greenery, sure. um, hanging plants, large established plants. They are affordable, sensible, you can do them immediately. Yeah. And they freshen up a space. They make people feel that the space is clean, new, tidy, uh, and that's a really easy thing to do that you can do yourself. Yeah, great. Um, highlighting any corners that are a little bit dark and dank. Uh, you can add some uh, new lighting, feature lighting. Yeah. Hand make a pendant light if you're crafty yeah. uh, or zip in and, and buy something. And if there's no wiring in a position that needs lighting, um, I love nothing more than exposing a conduit and allowing the space to be honest and, sure. and natural. So that's a, a good tip. Yeah, great. I also think it's it's really lovely at the end of this process, which can be quite stressful for uh, cafe owners, staff mm. alike, anyone that's chipping in a hand to um, show your appreciation, have a little do, announce the revamp, yep. uh, and have a little staff party before you open sure. the doors the next day. Um, that's a, a beautiful thing to do. It adds good vibe into the space, and uh, you're off. Yeah, it's cool. I like that. Cool. That's good. So I guess from a from a modern cafe point of view, obviously people have got the Instagram photos they're bringing yes. in. Yes. Right now, uh, twenty twenty two. Is there any any particular hot things that everyone's doing? Is there any go to moves that you're seeing in these cafes right yeah, now? Absolutely. There's there's a lot of white going on. Yeah, we love white. Uh, a <laughs> lot of white. White is great. Uh, it's easy, uh, but there are a lot of whites. Yeah. So again, finding oh, sure. that perfect white Tones, yeah. uh, is, is not as easy and yeah. it can traumatize some people. Yeah. Um, definitely white, a lot of greenery, a lot of honest materiality. So people are starting to, um, rather than clad over something that they previously may yeah. have, they're actually tidying it up and, and using that piece. Um, I, mean, I find people are looking for interesting spaces that tell a story uh, yeah. at the moment or trying to create some sort of storytelling vibe within a space yeah. that maybe is a little bit boring. So that's something I'm seeing. They're trying to give a little bit of theatre to a space yeah, cool. in its simplicity so that it's not just food and coffee. Uh, it's an experience that you'll actually tell a friend about and then uh, you'll be a repeat customer and, and they'll bring all of their friends. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm all for that. I yeah. feel like I, I definitely personally go to cafes that have um, a good vibe or a good look and feel about yeah. them. I'm always uh, inspired by them. Yeah. And, you know, when we help open cafes and stuff and they've done a new fit out, people are just so attracted to that new space yeah, and definitely. in awe of it. Yeah. So as much as we love coffee, we love all the niceties that come with sitting in a cafe um i think the design has a far bigger effect than most people actually realize it has on Absolutely. them personally whether they notice yeah, it or not definitely whether it's their daily cup of coffee and they're just running in and out the door yeah. you know there's the combination of the right barista the right coffee but the right design the right feel Absolutely. And, and that portrays the owners and the, yeah. and the staff well yeah. i think it's it's a good combination. I think it's an integral part of part of the ingredients to a really successful it cafe. Is, so yeah. people will stop if they see a space uh, that looks inviting, uh, looks interesting. Mm. They will stop and and be engaged. I think um, they appreciate the effort you've put into it yeah, too. Yeah, absolutely. And you can tell when people have put the effort yeah. in whether they've engaged with someone like yourself to to put the extra time and and yeah. work in. People are far more these days. People are far more. Um, educated due to Instagram, due to sure. magazines, books, TV shows, whatever it be, uh, as to how you can work a space. So I get people coming to me and they have a fully informed idea sure. of what they want. Yeah. Uh, they just don't necessarily have the how uh, yeah. and that combining of actual materials, the addition of who to work with locally, who's best at doing a particular type of work. Um, a lot of builders will specialise in certain types of, of building. Uh, sure. So that's another thing we can we can help with along the way. So we love our white space. Is there any, any things that you can do to kind of break it up and add more character, whether it's murals or artwork or some other ideas to, you know, once they've painted or maybe they do have a fresh white, 
um, cafe, what's next? Is there other things? Yeah, so repainting or having a white wall uh, is an opportunity to add detail. So there's many things you can do. Um, adding back to the theatre of a space and creating um, a interest mm. that's not just food and coffee. You can get an artist, engage an artist to, to paint a mural uh, yeah. in the space that has something behind the owners of the cafe, reinvigorates the branding. Um, so it could be a mural that's painted yeah. in situ while the cafe is open. It could be a mural that's painted and then printed onto um, commercial vinyl wallpaper if it's a very busy area. Uh, it could be wall cladding. It could be tiled. Yeah, uh, yeah. Re repainting yeah, a wall sure. is an opportunity to revisit that blank wall and whether it is perfect for yeah. something else. Is that something that you find just in people's character, whether they break out into colour and, and go Absolutely. out there or the artworks they Absolutely. choose? Is that personal preference or yeah. is there like... No, there's, there's a lot of psychology involved in getting to know the person you're working with. Sure. And, and after many years, we as designers do this quite quickly because we have to. Yeah. And yeah, you, you will tell if someone is a, a natural, tonal, yeah. soft, white, beige, tone on tone, brass, copper, we will know immediately if there's someone who wants vigor, excitement, color, action, yeah. uh, I will know almost you in can the do first all of five that minutes. tastefully yeah <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, that, i've seen those things happen <laughs> and they don't always yeah. pull it off yeah so that there, there are definitely subtle ways to talk to people about yeah. an idea that isn't possibly so good that they're very passionate about sure. um and and it might be that there's husband and wife that are in a business yeah. and and they both have quite different ideas and yeah. having a designer there to help to funnel through some of those yeah. options also helps with um, refining the design and ending Crucial up with a of, beautiful space. Yeah. yeah. And keeping everyone happy for sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Great. Well, I think I've learned plenty. Cool. I'd love to design my own cafe, but I'm lucky enough that I get to work with lots of people who do. So <laughs> Amazing. I get to spend their money, not mine. Perfect. But uh, I look forward to you working with you in the future. Thanks. And we will put your details in the comments below, in the details in the description below. Perfect. Uh, we do answer all of our comments as well. So if you, I'll pass the questions on to you and you might have some feedback or some answers for people in the comments. Sure. Um, and if you have any more questions, yeah, shoot them below. Thank you for your time. Great. Thank Letting you. Let us in your beautiful home. Thanks. And we'll catch up with Thanks you soon. Thanks for coming. For you if, you, if you want to hear more, Put them in the comments below if you haven't already subscribed to the channel because we're always putting out new videos with great helpful tips for baristas and business owners and hit the like button and the bell icon. I'll see you next time. Thanks guys.